revolution. Look, Marklins, on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast, your new source for information regarding Mafia Wars from Zynga. Um, Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Live long and prosper. And tonight I have with me Chainsaw Chester, Jana, Death by Gucci, and Jennifer, the Mafia Wars loot lady. So how is everybody? Doing all right. Well, I'm doing just peachy. We got nerfed. Yeah, we did. I didn't get nerfed. You well, did. you didn't get nerfed because no, we didn't even get to get there. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, remember on the last show, this new mission just came out, and it was to unlock a secret district. Yeah. And we didn't, we didn't really know what was going oh. on. Well, Are you talking about the one that Pete had to tell you all about? Cause you didn't yeah, know? that one. Yeah, oh, okay. that one, yes. <laughs> just making sure. So anyways, I finished everything, and then I was like, the ratios of – experience payout to energy used were just phenomenal. It was like 4.6, 4.7. So the next day I'm playing and I'm like, wow, I'm serial leveling. Like I didn't need to use energy packs, nothing I would rob and do my good experience ratio job. And I was going straight through and I was getting all these skill points. Life was great. I was playing more than ever. And it was just so cool. And I'm like, this is too good to be true. And, um, Sure enough, like that very next day, you get a pop-up that says, word is out. We were paying out too much. So they nerfed it, and they threw the ratios all the way back. Now, the ratios are still better than anywhere else in the game, but only by a few decimal points, not like double like it was. So you got rolled back? No, nobody got rolled back. And if they try to do that, oh, my God, it's just going to be a mess. But um, They'll do it then. They nerfed the ratio, so now the you know it's not what it was. Like it was like giving you something you really like for a day and then taking it away. That's well, I can't the zinga way. Get there. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and the people, and then this is the problem: the people that didn't get there yet because they were you know not using reward points or blowing through the mission, they felt it was unfair because they didn't get a chance to serial level for however long the yeah. other did. Well, so they're, even ask they're demanding me. rollbacks, saying the loot got rollback. Oh, I'm sorry, I interrupted you, Jana. That was uh-huh. rude. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> I'm just saying, I've all weekend not been able to ask for help on the mission, and it's irritating me to death. And I've written to customer service three times, and I'm not getting anywhere with it. And that they do this every time. There's multiple timer um, issues with this mission. The um, request for your mafia crew support yeah. or mission crew support that's not counting the brazil crew member positions those aren't counting right the get support for backpacks isn't counting right nope. so this is stalling people the only option you have is to contact customer support and or so pay. Now, right or pay it off yeah and so now if you try to you know go to customer support you have like an hour wait yeah, it's ridiculous. Live chat hasn't even been on for me since I've had a problem. Yeah, well, and the customer support gets bombarded when these issues happen, and they happen all the time. You know, we've had maybe one or two missions that were carefree without bugs. So they instead of dealing with all this contact customer support, they'll do it for you. They may throw you a few reward points and tell you they're sorry for their, your inconvenience. Why can't they just fix the problem? And right. they would it would just negate all these people having to go to customer support. Well, and then now they've created this um, effect where people are going to support and expecting more than just their problem fix. Mm-hmm. I never get anything. They never well, that's because you, you have to be pushy enough with them, and then that's what they'll do. But that, that I mean, they've created a problem for themselves. Instead of mm-hmm. just fixing the code to begin with, that, that people don't have to go to support. I actually had the same experience. I went in and... Uh, actually got on live chat actually it only took me about three minutes and the guy was very helpful but he almost was like I said he's, he's like is there anything else I can help you with while I'm working with you and I'm like no that's it and he was almost like he was <laughs> waiting for me to hit him with about 16 other things yeah and, and or asking for more and I was or like I said, no can I have some thanks yeah or something I you know yeah. I was just like no that's all I needed thanks for finishing my I mission hit for him. me 
but I know well, I'm just saying. Well, and there's people out there that do that. Like there'll be a, a in-game issue that affects everybody. Mm-hmm. They'll contact customer support and customer support will say, Oh, I'm sorry for your inconvenience. Here's 50 reward points. So how is that? Fair be nice. To, to yeah. I people? never get that. Well, yeah. And so a lot of people do that when they don't really need to go to customer support. They know it's a known issue. And yeah, it this just is what... clogs their system. Because support, I mean, we like to make fun of them, but they do do a good job. You they know, do some do? of them, yeah, they do do, yeah. <laughs> well, how does this help? I understand your concern, and I'm sorry to hear you're having a problem with your game. Please know that this problem has been reported, and we are working on it. Unfortunately, I really am unable to actually grant a time for this, but if you're still having a problem completing this, you are welcome to let me know. How in the world does what that the hell help me? good is that going to be? That didn't do anything for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the only the thing that thing. does is psychological. Like, oh, you're like, okay, it's not just me. No, I want it fixed. But then you see Joe Blow post his chat transcripts, and he got 20 reward points, and you didn't get anything. Exactly. I got nothing. No. Yes, nothing you did. There. You got the shaft. I you didn't want shaft. that? Man. <laughs> <laughs> that. And I usually don't take the time to write, but this weekend has been really frustrating. Yeah. Well, and it was especially frustrating before because everyone was trying to get into the secret district because of those ratios. What district? (laughs) The 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 smuggler's (laughs) haven. (laughs) You'll never see it, Chester. It's only there for 18 days. (laughs) Yeah, it's almost gone. You have to actually do the mission. Oh, I stand corrected. It will open up for everybody and a couple more days so mm-hmm. yeah you can see it you won't do it though you won't do it he won't <laughs> it's love true. that support you people have <laughs> but it would help you level faster yeah for those What's that get the there level? you need to do I want to get bigger at a smaller level intimidate a local thug intimidate i intimidate everybody. everybody punk well what's going on in spocktonian in spocktonian in spocktonia you mean in yeah it's spocktonia spock world spock world there you go you know, not too much. We just we've been still fixing a lot of little things that have been out there that have been lingering and got I think we're kinda of back to square one again until something else changes or breaks. We got some stuff in the hopper. Nice. <laughs> what kind of stuff? <laughs> J- Jimmy Hoffa's in the hopper? In the hopper. We're working on um something that'll help families uh with their progression. And that's about all I can say at this point. <clears throat> Secrets. So it should should help with some things, but it'll take a little bit of work, and we'll do some testing with the Spock family, and then everybody else will complain that Spock family's doing their progression faster than everyone else, and <laughs> we'll get in trouble and all this other stuff. But no, it, it, it's all legitimate stuff, but we're, we're working on a couple of ways to help some families, especially like um, we've struggled with, you know, when we created the Spock family, we did not you know, say that there were requirements to get in, that you had to be a level 1000 or greater and whatever else. And so we have people that range from like level 30s to level, you know, 5000s. And obviously the level 30s are not able to do as much of the progression as a level 5000 with high energy, high stam and so on. And so we're trying to find a way to help maybe balance that a bit where the lower players can really be helped to grow as players in the game while still, you know, helping the family with these progressions. So that's kind when of... The, yeah, the main problem is Zynga didn't add a way to, for you to monitor to see are there people not doing it? Because right. I'm sure a lot of our families have players that quit. and was like, screw this, people quit the game all the time. And there's mm-hmm. no way for you to tell, okay, this person's not even playing. Well, there, there might be a way to do that. We have a well, spotlight for that. <laughs> well, you know, but who's going to go through all that you know, well, unless you create a script that will streamline the process? And that's another one that's in the hopper. We're working oh. on a, f- a family. <laughs> the hopper is busy. <laughs> the hopper you is should every... make a hoppinator. A hoppinator. <laughs> uh, getting ready for Easter. No, we're working on another one called the family manager that would allow you to just monitor your family as opposed to your entire mafia oh, that for would be progression. Nice. You know, oh, that's nice. Level that changes nice. and so on and so forth. Right. So that's also in the hopper. I so. will volunteer to help out with that. <laughs> You're not allowed to use scripts. That's right. Shut your pile. <laughs> <laughs> it's at his discretion. Yeah. Scripts are evil. No. That's- I'm I'm trying to see if something is non malicious. I want to check that- it out. So all of ours are non malicious. It's just the 
It depends. I don't on know. You hang around some shady people. Like whatever that. their intent is. <laughs> and there's this vast rumor through the community that that there's this script out there to do uh, fighting that never shows on the the shadow script. the shadow script. And <laughs> I, I can't either confirm or deny that that script exists. It's possible. I mean, anything's possible. There's always loopholes in the game that people find. Uh, but to date, I can honestly tell you that I'm not aware of where it is, if it does exist. It's one of those things that's got the community grumbling, that there's yes. a way for people to be fighting people. They, and they never... think that I wrote it myself. Mm. Oh, yeah. You probably did. <laughs> she would it if she It probably does absolutely nothing, then. <laughs> it's a shadow, all right? It never even performs the attack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. But, and all they're claiming it does is you can attack somebody and you won't show up in their player updates. Right. But the, that happens anyways. Well, and that's the thing that I guess is the, you know, the rumor is exactly that, that you can fight somebody and never show in their player updates. Well, if you fight fast enough, you could show show up, but maybe not as many times as you actually hit the first time. So that may be more or less what is the shadow script. And, you know, know this for a fact, if you're fighting that fast then Zynga's going to eventually catch up with you anyway. Yeah, because you'll get too many of those warnings. No, and, the, well, and even if you're flag. not getting the warnings, they know what's going on. They know their, I mean, they know their system, and they know how to look for patterns. And so if they're doing it, they'll figure out what it is and eventually end up blocking it. And they may take a while to do it. We've seen that in the past, but, mm -hmm. <laughs> but that may be what's going on. I don't know. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. But that's all I got. Did uh, Jennifer have anything else? Just a couple of things. We discussed the nerf, and nobody likes that. And coming right off, isn't the that word, a company? It yes. is. Do you want to know where the term comes from? I thought it was like a spongy football. No, it came from some other game. And what they would do is, if the developers made something worse, they would say, "You might as well give us nerf balls to throw at each other instead of knives or guns." Mm -hmm. And then the term kind of held to kind of cover all video games if you look it up in the urban dictionary you'll get schooled on it get schooled yeah so get yourself schooled chester yeah urban Gee, and dictionary. i thought it was a um, yeah i just thought it was a spongy football it is and if i threw a spongy football in your face it would it hurt nothing. as much if i shot a gun <laughs> right in your face it depends Which... on how how much velocity <laughs> Well, it'd take a heck of a lot of velocity to. I mean, let me tell you something. You you launch it at 100 miles an hour, it's gonna hurt. I don't care if it's a sponge or a shotgun. Yeah, but a gun would blow your head into a million pieces. Which one? No, it wouldn't. Do no, it, it could. wouldn't. If it Haven't had you the, seen the movies, it just splits your head like a canoe. That's about it. No, there's special. Or if you're Jason, it just really pisses play. you off. Yeah, are we in like a horror movie? Don't overanalyze my analogy, please. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Okay. Right after the war loot incident, the you know, the community's getting sick of this stuff from them. You know, the next day, or maybe it was even like 20 minutes later, I don't remember when, they were like, hey, we've been experiencing a lot of page load incidents, and we understand you were convenienced by that. Here's 20 free two times mastery boosts. <laughs> I got now, that. Yeah, and then they put a, a freaking share button on it, and it doesn't do anything. So now all your news feeds have, like, thousands of, hey, I got 22 times mastery boosts. And it says and, something like Mafia Wars loves Jen or something. <laughs> yeah. Social marketing <laughs> really at cheesy. its finest. Yeah. So the <laughs> kicker of all this is two times mastery boosts, yeah, they're cool, but they only work in the early low energy districts. So once you get to that, like, ruby level, you're, or gold level, too, those two times the mastery boosts are useless. Why did they even designate where you could use them? You should just be able to use I them know. anywhere. I know, right? Stupid. Because Zynga hates you. You haven't yeah, figured that do. one out yet? Well, they should change the post. So it's that like, was no. their way of saying, we're sorry. Hope you're not mad at us. Mm -hmm. After, after a, a rollback and all these glitches. Yeah, I'm rollback, a nerf. What's uh, next? Okay, and then here's another one, just to make it even better. We talked about on the last show the difference between the daily and the weekly timer. Mm -hmm. Well, Sunday was the day for the, the first round of weekly timers to expire. Well, the timer ran out and a new timer didn't reset. And there's good and bad to this. People are saying, oh, we got screwed. It was two days late and now it won't move on. 
the good thing about it is players who did not completely master all their tasks on the gold level can still work on that and that credit will be applied 